Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be recreating these Meg The Stallion nails. And if you didn't know, this is kind of how my channel started. One of my most viewed videos is me recreating Meg The Stallion's nails. So if you guys want me to recreate more celebrities nails, leave them down in the comment box. And of course, subscribe and let's get started. So we're starting off with some of Julieta's tips and these are like pre-shaped coffin tips. They're clear, they're amazing, my favorite. So I'm just gluing them on using dead cow glue. And I usually um, leave them the shape they are using these tips, but um, Meg's nails are a little bit more narrow, so I will be cutting them down a little bit. So right now I'm taking my scissors and just cutting down the size just to narrow it out a little bit. Meg's nails are a little bit more narrow. I typically don't do this, but I'm actually really liking it. Um, I don't know if they call it ballerina or just a narrow coffin. Um, comment down below what you call it. So after this, I'm just going to take my hand file and just, you know, crisping up the sides. So it's a little bit more clean. And then also at the free edge, I'm going to create a slant. Um, Meg the Stallion typically, you know, rocks her lipstick nails. I don't know if this would be um, constituted as a lipstick nail because they're not like square. Um, they're more ballerina with a slant. So I will be using acrylic today and I'm using the Me Secret Acrylic System and it is an EMA monomer, non-MMA. So yeah, I definitely don't use an MMA. I know there's been, you know, buzz around it recently, um, but yeah, do not use that. I've seen so many um, Instagram posts of this young lady losing her finger due to using MMA products. So please don't use it i know like it's cheap and it's tempting um i myself am a such a cheapskate but i will not skimp out on my quality of monomer anyways i'm just you know adding acrylic to the thumb right here and i'm maintaining the shape wiping off the sides etc etc and it's pretty self-explanatory i'm doing three beads because i am using a smaller brush than i usually do it's a size 12 and I usually use a size 16. So that bead that I just applied was really too wet. So I'm just cleaning it up around the sides. I typically like to go for a drier bead when I'm working around the cuticle area. So here's the dryer bead. This is kind of like the consistency that is desirable for me. And I'm just gonna repeat this process to all of the rest of the nails.
So right now after it's dried I'm going in with my hand file and I'm just cleaning up the shape I'm going completely 90 degrees with the hand file I'm not going under because going under would create a little bit of a rounder shape I'm only going under to clean up around where the natural nail and the acrylic meet So now I'm taking my Macar fine safety bit and I'm just going around the nails just to smooth them out and I'm probably putting the drill on the speed um, maybe 12,000 RPMs. Now with my Pana medium drill bit, I'm going around the cuticle area just because using a safety bit, you can't really get tight around those spaces and not doing this step will make sure that you have lifting. Now 
I'm going to buff all the scratches out and make sure it's really, really smooth. And then after that, I'm just going to go wash my hands from the dust so I can start my gel polish application. So I don't quite have the same colors that Meg uses on her nails, so I'm just going to take a couple of colors and mix them together and play around with that on my palette. So now I'm taking a long detail brush. Um, this is perfect for French tips and stuff like that. And like the picture suggests, um, Meg does not have a really deep French tip, so that should be pretty easy to achieve.
so y'all this part right here is so hard like everything so far was pretty easy the acrylic whatever but this y'all getting the symmetry right getting the shapes to look decent was so hard anyways i'm just drawing on some hexagons and you know maybe like three or four down the middle and then curing it um maybe it would have been easier to maybe do the french tip in the lighter color and then add lines in the darker color to basically make that shape of the hexagons i don't know if that makes sense i'm just i'm just talking to be honest <laughs> And by the way, I'm using a McCart number one brush. So that is the shortest brush in their kit. And that allows you to get the details and make short strokes. So the index finger didn't actually turn out bad, but as I kept on working on the like finger, other fingers, it just kept getting worse and worse. And I just tried. <laughs> Now in between each hexagon, I'm going to add some triangles and this design is really pretty on Meg and her artist did an amazing job, but I'm just not getting the symmetry down. I'm not getting the you know precision down. Um, it's really, really hard. My hands are shaking. I just can't. I just really can't. <laughs> So here are all the nails 
So I'm just going to add some top coat to the cured nails. And this index finger don't look half bad, but as you look at the others, like it's just not even, it's not symmetrical, it's not cute. It's, mm, it's not really there. It's trying, it's not giving, but you know, sis made an effort. <laughs> So now I'm adding some oil to my cuticles so they don't look ashy. And then that's the finished look. Um, I guess if you squint your eyes and tilt your head, you can kind of see a resemblance, but <laughs> now I'm playing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.